welcome to my channel Liana's Corner if this is your first time here thank you so much for popping in and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back I really do appreciate it so first of all we're going to start with haul the reason why I'm starting haul first is because um, over the month I have recorded a few videos just so it wasn't me having to hold my haul somewhere and then try to remember what I brought I thought it was just easy if I did a quick little video and I am going to add those videos in right now and I went to my lifeline store because I know there's a lot saying that they've gone and found little gems and I thought why not I finally got myself to one even though she's around the corner from work and I saw this little pack book on a book a little pattern I didn't buy it because of the P but I bought it because it's actually got linen and it was only three dollars so you got the pattern and you got a floss card and all your floss but I only got it because of it being linen and a, f a lot of um, floss tubers love linen or they don't and I thought I'll give it a try and being only um three dollars for this little kit it's not a lot of money that I'm wasting if I don't like it so I thought I'll give it a go um, when I was also there I saw this little a ribbon embossing kit um, you get all these cute different colour ribbons and I thought a dollar no harm in trying I didn't realise until I got home and opened the packet someone actually had started it but I doesn't really matter so I can continue to try it or if not I got these cute little ribbons that I can use and you've got a card base as well which is in there somewhere um, but I got all these ribbon I could maybe use for finishing somewhere else so I just get a dollar um, in some other flushy videos I've heard um, people mention needle mind needle, needle, needle books and I looked up and saw what a needle book was and I thought that's a good idea because I bought this little tin if you remember to put all my needles in and I saw this needle book and I thought actually that would be a better idea so and you need it felt and I don't have any so I saw this like a pack of felt and it was cost three dollars there's some really good big pieces in here and there's some parts that I have been used because they must have made something else but there's oh, this really some nice colors especially that blue it was a nice like a green because you got this darker green but you got this red so I thought I can it's just a practice and trial um, I thought I'll just use it um, instead of buying like one sheet of felt in different colours to make this book I thought this was a quite a um, good idea so that was my lifeline haul that I did then I heard Spotlight was having a 20 to 50% off sale which time you see this video it would be over so I drove down and I needed um, eight floss lit for my color pillar sale that I'm starting and spotlight only had five of them so I went and bought those five I do have I think two already and I think I've got four here already so it's, I got enough to start but I'm just waiting for my fabric which I have ordered uh, it got sent beginning of the week so hopefully it will come next week because it's in Australia so hopefully it won't take too long to come and then I'll show you that one but while I was there I thought I want a cute little fabric for my needle book and I saw this it's a fat quarter but I thought it was quite well because you've got your little needle and thread and a picker little sewing machine so it was 50% off so it was $7 so I paid three fifty. so I didn't think that was too bad so I went 
I don't know. So I read it one and I thought that would be perfect for my needle book. I found a um, tutorial on YouTube um, that I'm going to give a try and depending on how it turns out and I'll let you know how it turns out. So that's my haul for now and I'll put you on to the next video of my haul. Okay, just another little video. I went to um, Lincraft and I got these three colours that I was needing for my um, caterpillar stitch along. So I got now have all my colours. Okay, I've got a few things I want to add to this. So I went and got this two pack of um, burlap canvas, stretched canvas. I have used one already for a FFI, which you will see later in this video. I think that was like a pack of um, a pack of two was seven dollars from Kmart. I got my first ever long dog samplers. Um, this one is called Pandemic. It is 365 by 429 stitches, and I got this for free. They um, are doing it for a week only, so the time you see this video, um, it will not be for free anymore, and most of you would have got it anyway. Um, so I've never done a long dog sampler at all, or anything to that country, and I thought for free, why not? And um, they, besides get a pattern, you get the alphabet, um, and numbers so you can change it in that area to suit your needs um, so if you're doing 14 count Ada or 28 count linen it'll be about 26 by 30 inches um, B then 16 and 32 is 22 by just say 26 and if you do 18 or 36 linen it's 20 by 23 inches so it's gonna be a biggie so I have no clue when I'm going to start it, but free, got it, why not? I've got some more magazines. So this is the May edition of um, Cross Stitcher. And then you've got your little freebie. Um, i got the May World of Cross Stitching magazine and you get the three um three in one stitch kit with little cupcakes and then i went i wasn't sure if i was going to get this one but excuse me i looked at it again and i thought why not at least i've got it so this is the ultimate cross stitches cross stitch east asia so you get 148 sharks and there's some really beautiful um, patterns in there so yeah okay so I did get a couple other things so first of all so I only bought these like last day or so I got this fabric it's really cute and some elastic because I am going to do my own covers for my Q snaps I saw this video and it looked really simple and easy to do so I am going to try to do it over the month and then I will let you know how I go in my next video. But I'm quite excited to make my own Q-Snaps covers. It looks really simple. I'm hoping. So I got that. Um, today in Facebook when I was just going through my news feed I did see someone comment about this particular Etsy sort having 70% off her PDF files so I went over and had a look I tried to find it again on my phone just so I can let you know but I couldn't find it but I will put the name down here somewhere and I'll let you know when the sale does expire because it is not for I think a couple of days but I'm not sure exactly so I will give you all the details down below and I think that was all my haul that I have received Okay, so 
let's get into FFIs, the fun stuff. Okay, so you would have seen this, but in a kit form. I was thinking, oh, something fell in. Oh, give me a hand up. So I stitched this um, during my bus runs. I go from one school and then I have to wait a little bit longer from at another school for the kids to come out. And because of being the COVID, this, there wasn't as many kids because they're on online thing. My husband must be printing out something. He knows I'm doing a blush tube. So anyway, so I started doing this and then I wanted to really finish it. So I did it this time and stitched it. It's not really perfect because it's got a little hole there, but that was my fault because I cut it too close. But it's still cute. The next FFO. <coughs> Excuse me. With brighter days ahead, you would have known that I was stitching this. Um, for Stitch Mania and I finished it a couple of weeks ago like this and I used that frame which you were saw in haul. I got a whole bunch of flowers and these were in it and I thought that would suit the, my um, stitch and that's what it looks like. I wish I did iron it before I put it on but I was in such a hurry. I couldn't be bothered, so I am quite pleased with that. Now I'm able to hang it up because I've shown you. I also finished this. I did start this one in Stitch Mania as well. And this is my COVID-19. And I was thinking, how am I going to decorate this? Because I didn't really want to um, go overboard with it. And I had some um, MDF cut out for another project. And then, so I was going to put it onto this. But then I was thinking about background. And I was looking on, um, I was looking on Google. But different things. And then I saw this pattern with the yellow and black and then I thought we had some of this at work because we had to separate the first two rows on both sides of the bus as a buffer between us and the kids and I had some left over so I thought that would be perfect and for that this was never used it was just sitting in my pigeonhole because I had extra so I thought that would be perfect for the COVID-19 and this was a free pattern as well so I did a couple little um, ones and I stitched this little blue rose from Doreen, Doreen Jones this is a freebie on her Facebook page and I put it into a little book I was watching Michelle Bendy Stitchy floss tube and she was given a junk journal from her friend. And so she's putting her little cross stitches in it and I thought that was a great idea because I'll, you know, you get those little freebies from the magazines or you might find little freebies somewhere and you want to stitch them but nowhere to put them. So having a junk journal is a great idea. But I didn't really want to make a junk journal. I can, I've done it before, but I just didn't want to. And um, I had this book. It's, uh, what, it's one that you um, like you put fo like photos. It's like a 300 and... Three hundred and sixty-six days and you put photos in it. I did put some in, but... That's as far as I got, so I'll use it this for this. So I have done another little one. This cute little terrarium. 
it was a freebie <coughs> excuse me from the world of cross stitching I did find this one on Facebook first and they had put it on this little notebook at the front and I thought that is such a cute idea that's what I wanted to do for this but as you can see they're a bit small so I went and made it bigger so what I did was so what, instead of having one little stitch there I did four so probably a little one of these I did four of them um, it took a little bit of adjusting to do because I did um, scuff up like along here I um, I think I missed a row so this was over here so when I did yellow instead of being 13 across I only had enough like 11 so then I realised where I stuffed up later on so I had to frog all the yellow bit and part of this blue and then once I did it it all um, worked in so I'm quite pleased how that turned out especially when the first time I've actually done made the page the size bigger but I will send a photo so you can see them both side to side it's so cute how the size difference but I like how it turned out and also I actually stitched this on linen so this is my first time stitching on linen I got it um, as you would have seen in my video my haul um, so I thought what can I use on it and I thought this would be perfect could I give me something to tr use try it out and I realised I'm not a linen a linen person um, it, I can stitch on it all good it was just the fact that as you know linen is natural um, so the little squares little holes are not even so some were really close together, some were a little bit bigger. Some had that really thick line. So that made it harder. So I think I would stick to even weave. And not if if I'm given linen I will stitch on it. But it's not going to be my go-to fabric. If you know what I mean. Okay. I also have made this cute little needle book I've heard it a few times so I looked it up to see what it was and then I found a video from Alana Craft I will link her down below it was a really simple video and she showed you how to do it so as you've seen this is the felt that I got from my haul with that fabric so I make my own little needle book and I had these little snaps in my stash already so I am really pleased on how that turned out okay time for rips okay so I started this one last month for Stitch Mania. I will add a photo so you can see where I was before I started, but I've basically done finished that section off. I think the only thing I've got to do is back stitch it, which I won't do until I finish completing it. So this is my last Stitch Mania piece because I stitched four of them. As you know, I finished one in a few days of when I started it, and I finished the other two, and this is my last Stitch Mania piece that I got left. So I am have to really get motivated to get back into this one because I decided, yeah, I stitched it and then, but I wanted to stitch other stuff, so I have to work out get it back into that one and that's my only work in progress 
because the other side have started by finish. So this one is a new start and it is the positively wools from Caterpillar's cross stitch. So this is part one. Now we're vacuuming. <laughs> So um, part two came out yesterday, so I will add a little picture so you can see what part two it, it will look like. And so I will be stitching that this month, adding to it, so I'm liking how it's that going so far. And this was on the okay, uh, 16 count fancy pink. So, you would have seen that whole video if you haven't. I do have a video of showing some of my fabric that I received. So, that was my new start for the month of January, of June. Okay, so for the month of July, what have I got plans? Part two of this, which is up here. Working more on this blower heart by Dream Jones. I want to start this and start start the insect show soldier lest we forget for my nephew. Um Excuse me. I am going away for a couple of nights up just to Noosa because I'm supposed to be technically on a cruise heading to I don't know how that was Saturday. One of the I'll be on a, an island somewhere exploring. Stupid COVID. It got cancelled. So we are going up to Noosa for a few nights. So I even have been a few little mini little ones to stitch. So these are the ones I've chosen. I have got my working copy. So if I get time to stitch on them, great. If I don't, no biggie. At least I've got something prepared for while I'm up there. And uh, this, I'm not this month. Yes. And I think next day, so I'm going to get some fabric and floss to start that pandemic long dog sampler that you've seen. And it is definitely not free anymore. The week is up and over. So please don't go and have a sim like some half going, I missed it out for free. Give it to me for free. I'm sorry. Not free anymore. You just have to pay the full price. Um, so I'm going to get that fabric for this, hopefully this week. And I'm going to start that sometime this month. Well, I'm planning on to. So, yeah, so I think that's everything I have to let you know. I've cracked my finger now. So, I hope you enjoyed this floss tube video. And if you did, please leave it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.